Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. One of the things I get a lot of requests for is the jelly plate. Um, a lot of people have seen my other videos that I have done uh, in a live show I did a couple years ago and uh, a video that I had done. And a lot of people ask me if you can use this in your art journal. And of course you can. So I'm going to show you uh, using my one art journal what you can do. And we're just starting out with basic craft paints. I love folk art. You know, you guys know I uh, constantly talk about folk art and plaid. I love them. They're a great company. And I have ceramic coats and a little bit of Liquitex. But the basic colors I'm having are the Roy G. Biv, basically. Uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I'm having pink and white. And I have red here. And, you know, whatever colors you want. It doesn't matter. Remember, when you do this, you can use two colors. You can use one color. You don't have to uh, use a lot. Um, of different variety of colors if you don't want and if you don't have them. Also keep in mind that jelly plates can be made with gelatin. And um, if you search on YouTube for homemade jelly plate, you'll find many people who have made them. Some uh, have better recipes than others that last longer. Some you have to keep in the refrigerator. But for you to try it out and play with it, I definitely suggest you... Uh, you know, try to make one yourself. You can also use, uh, which I have videos on as well, using kids foam, which is just a sheet of foam. And in another video, I'll show you how I use this as my jelly plate. So you can get similar uh, markings and similar, you know, papers and still have fun and not have to worry about uh, spending because these can be a bit pricey. I mean, if you don't have money to go out and buy a lot of art supplies, this might not be on top of your list. Is it fun? It is a lot of fun. Um, it can be uh, very therapeutic and everything like that, but we can get something similar if we use foam and that'll be in the next video. So let's start. I have my jelly plate. I have my acrylic paints. Um, I don't advise you to use uh, sprays or anything. I've not used any dilutions or any uh, paint sprays or anything like that. Now you can use paint sprays that you make yourself with acrylic paint. You can also uh, do watercolor on here and let me know down below if you want me to do a watercolor. Uh, uh, I just lost my train of thought video uh, using watercolor on here. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the sprays and all, I don't know how that'll work on here. Uh, you might get very cool textures. I don't know what it'll do to the plate itself. I've not uh, tried it. So we're just going to rock with some paint. So first what we're going to do is I have my book that's falling everywhere. I have a journal. It's just a journal, probably cardstock paper in it. Not a big deal. You can use printer paper again, uh, cardstock. I have a piece of cardstock here that I will be cleaning off my stuff with and stencils and stamps and let's have fun. So it's going to get blurry probably for a minute uh, because it has nothing to focus on. Now you need a brayer. Um, well, no, you don't necessarily need a brayer. You can do like, like I've done it. I take bottles or I take, I save my old cooking spray cans and I will use that to roll. You can, I mean, you can use whatever you want to roll. It doesn't have to be a brayer, but that's what I'm going to use right now. So I like to do, uh, light to dark when I'm doing the colors. So let's start with some yellow and all you do, and we're going to do this for uh, our art journal page. And I'm just going to squirt some on there. And I'm going to roll it. And all you do is roll. And you don't have to roll it on the whole the whole thing. But I'm just going to do a very basic print right now. And you can roll it whatever ways you want. And honestly, when you get these lines, apparently this is putting a line in here for some reason. But when you get them, it adds more texture. So don't, don't uh, worry about that. Remember, art is not perfect. What we make is not perfect. Don't strive for perfection. You will be greatly disappointed. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do our Choose Joy. And I'm just going to go like this and stamp in it. Now you want to wipe this off. And, and, and let me tell you, you're going to have messy hands when you're done. All right. Just accept it. <laughs> All right. So you see, we have this there. All great. And I'm going to stamp off that on there. Now let's take our art journal. And I'm just going to lay it down. This is all you're going to do. You're going to have your paper. I don't have it gessoed or anything. And I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to give it a push. And push it good. Okay. Lift up. Now you're not going to be able to see it too good because of the uh, lighting and it's yellow. But it's going to help you when we go to layer. But look. Oh, I wish you could see that. Let me see if I turn this light off. 
No, you can't see it any better. Yeah, yellow wasn't. Oh, there you go. Yellow wasn't the best choice, but can you see? So that's our first layer. No big deal. The thing is, is you don't have to um, worry that it's backwards, forward. It's just adding texture, texture, texture. So I'm going to leave this on here, and it's going to be a little dry, and that's okay. Now I'm going to go with, what color do I want to use with yellow? Uh, 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 let's do a pink. So I'm just grabbing baby pink from Americana. Baby pink, baby pink. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to kind of do like that. Nothing fancy. I'm taking this and I'm going to roll it. Okay. I should roll it off of my paper, but. And I'm just doing the one side right now to show you guys. You know what we'll do? Let's add this in there. I love this. And I'm just going to roll this over it very lightly. Lift it up. And look what you get. And I'm going to turn it this way. Roll it, turn it this way, roll it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, so now we're gonna move that out of the way. We're gonna lay our book down anywhere, it doesn't matter. You can turn it the other way too, turn it this way. We'll do that the next time. Give it a push, lift it up, and look what you get. Let's see how good, see that? Look at that. See, you're getting your mixed media background. Now, we're going to leave this go. We're not going to touch that, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to pick a stencil. Now, look, do you need a stencil? No, you can use things you have around the house. Uh, I didn't set my stuff up that I have around the house to do. I can do another video with that. But uh, this is just, you know, kind of things that we have. Let's do this circle. All right. And let's use some red. Again, doesn't matter what brand, doesn't matter what color you use. Do your thing. That's the fun part. Look at that. I'm just rolling it. And you can go over the whole. That's my thing being squeaky. How you like that? Yeah, boy. All right. Okay, so we have that. Now, I'm not going to take that stencil up yet. But what I'm going to do is just take this. I'm going to lay it down. You know it. Push it. Push it good. Sing along with me. Okay. Lift it up. Look at that. Look how freaking cool. Look. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, okay, Cal, what do we do? We got the stencil. No big deal. I'm going to take a piece of my cardstock as my throwaway paper. Have a couple of these around because you can make great patterns. You're getting more bang for the buck, and who doesn't like that? So I'm just going to lay this down on here, and what I'm going to do is to rub it all over. Now, you can take your roller to really get in and get up those colors. And you can knock everything over on your desk like me if that helps you create. <laughs> all right. And then we lift it up. And look. Look how cool. But we're not done yet. We're not, Kelly? No, we're not. So watch this funness. Just take it, lift up your stencil, okay? Now, you see that we have some stuff on here. It's uh, paint and uh, what else would it be? It's what I put on there. Um, and it's dry and that's okay. Uh, you don't have to wash off your stencil. You can if you want, or you can throw another thing of paint over it and maybe I'll do that next and we'll lift all that up. Okay, so here we go. We have this. I want a lighter color because I want to pick up that red. What color should we use? Well. Let's do a little white, shall we? And we'll start the other page. So I'm just going to squirt some white. Squirt it. Squirt it good. Okay. I'm going to take my rolly, whatever you're using to roll out. Now, you can leave it like that and print. You don't have to cover the whole thing. Remember the fun that you can have. Now, I'm working on getting a jelly plate for a giveaway. I don't know if I'll be able to get it but let me know down below if that's something you guys would want to win okay i got the lines in there i'm not caring and i'm gonna put this on this side and i'm just gonna lay it down you know the song lay it down lay it down i know all right Cal. okay so we're gonna push it and we're gonna push it good i know i know lift it up and look at that what you get and now that's a beginning of another paper. 
right? In your journal. This is our journal page so far. Come on, how can you not love it? I know you do. No fronting. Okay, so now we'll, worry, we'll work with that later. Let's get, I'll tell you what, let's do, let's do some green. This is what we'll do. I'm just going to put some green down. You know, it's my favorite. Martha Stewart green. I love this green color. I have every time I go to the store, I like to pick up another green just in case I lose it or I use it all. I don't have it here because I could practically drink it. Don't drink the paint. All right. Okay. So here we go. All right. So we have that. I'm just going to wipe that off for a second. Now take the back of your, well, you can see I took the back of that many times of your uh, paintbrush or whatever and draw doodle right do dots wipe off that end so you get clearer you know because it's gonna jam up on there we'll just put some dots here and there some dots here and there look it's like we're jumping on a trampoline but wait it's gonna be fun this is not the end now take anything you have. I have this, this could be a plastic fork. This could be a plastic knife. If this is a uh, thing that you paint with, what's it called? I want to keep saying spackle. What is it? Oh, leave me down, down below. I can never remember this name when it's time. Anyway, look. And we're just doing some more texture. That's all we're adding. So think out of the box of what you can use. Okay, so we have that. And let's say you take the lid off of your spray bottle and you can just go make some circles. So you don't have to have fanciness, okay? You don't. Give it a twirl, Give make it funky. Funky, we're funky. Okay. So you have that, and what else do we have? You can use, now I have these, uh, the Catalyst tools. You can get these, use a coupon at Michaels and AC Moore and all those, they have them. But if you don't have it, take a piece of cardboard. I have videos on this as well. Let me know down below if you want me to include this, how to do this in, um, the next one when we use things at home. All you do is take a piece of cardboard. You can use a piece of scissors with cardboard like I've done and uh, or make different patterns if you have decorative scissors. All the fun. And then we're going to kind of go like this. All right, nothing, nothing fancy. Now we want that to dry. And I don't know if we do this, it's going to help dry it. But I'm just going to give it a second because it's very hot in my room today and I need a drink of water. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, this weather. <coughs> okay, it's driving me nuts. Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm going to take some blue. I'm just going to dribble it. <clears throat> Not too much. And I'm going to take my roller and just very lightly. Now, this and the back will dry the green and all those colors, but. I'm not going to worry about too much, but I like this kind of like water like look. So I could add it on here. I could add it on here, but I think right now I'm going to leave that one alone and I'm going to go. <clears throat> now I'm going to use this page that uh, I don't know what the heck I was doing on it, but I'm going to use this and go over it with this. I'll just stick it down, give it a push, lift it up. Look at that, look how cool. Oh, I love it. And then we can go back in and do some more of our doodles. Very randomly, you can see how it's dragging because it's starting to dry and that's good, no big deal. Do some more dots. Okay. So I'm just doing some dots, gonna wipe that off, and I'm gonna put another color on top. What color shall I do? 
I'm going to grab a purple. One second. I need a purple. I don't believe I have red. Where is my purple? <clears throat> All right, we'll use this. Uh, we'll use this purple. And this color is just Ceramicote Lilac. You can always tell the colors I love because I use them all the time. I'm just going to put dots here and there. Nothing major. Put the lid back on because if you're like me, it'll end up everywhere. And then I'm just going to slowly blend it. And of course, if you push a little harder, you can get it to blend all over. Depends on what you're looking for. Now let's lay our stencil with the red upside down. I want to see. I'm experimenting. It looks a little muddy. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Cause I'm, I'm just going for this. And you're going to get mud sometimes. Look, I'm not going to front and tell you you're not. Because sometimes you do. You get overzealous like me and uh, you get different colors. But look, that is fantastic. Now we can lift this up. Let me put it down here this time. I'm going to go over this again, but I'm going to go this way. And press it, lift it up, and we get more of a color. All right, so let's take this off. I'm gonna lay that there. Now, what do I want to do? It's a mess. Well, just take your paper towel and wipe off what you can. And look, you're getting your own texture there. And there's a million ways you can wipe off. You could take your spray, your water. But honestly, that that base color for me is not bad. So I can always uh, put something over it. And this is when it becomes a little messy, but it doesn't matter. And then what you can do is take your paper, your uh, paper that you're using for to take, you know, to lift everything up. And you could have done this in the first place if you didn't want to wipe it off. Doesn't matter. Just rub it all over good. Lift it up. And look, it's basically clean. And you got this extra beautiful colors on here. And that is that. So that's really how you do it. If you want to, I'll do one more kind of thing here. I'm going to do different colors. Let's try to do... the rainbow blue and some purple A lot of purple. Why not? Okay, so we'll just take our roller and I'm just gonna roll down. Roll down. I'm gonna take it over here. All right, so we have our color. Now look, we have all that. We don't want to throw it away. You can definitely take your journal. Let's see if I can get in here and roll it off just to add some more colors. And you get all that great. So, so you're never wasting anything. And that's what I love. So let's take, 